hello everyone in this video we will discuss about the examples of adherent points so first we will find the adherent point of natural numbers so here we see that natural numbers is the subset of real numbers so if we see the definition of adherent point we see that natural numbers is acting as a here so by the definition we will take any g belongs to r which also belongs to natural numbers so let us take g is equals to 2 that belongs to natural numbers as well as real numbers then this 2 is known as the adherent point of natural number if there exists a smallest del greater than 0 such that g minus del to g plus del here it means such that 2 minus del to 2 plus del intersection natural numbers should be non-empty and if we see this is actually this open interval so actually it implies that the intersection of this open interval and natural numbers should be non-empty and clearly the intersection of these two is 2 which is non-empty similarly if we take g is equals to 3 belongs to real numbers we get 3 minus del 3 plus del intersection natural numbers is equals to 3 that means non-empty so what does this tell it means that 2 is the adherent point of natural numbers here 3 g is equals to 3 implies that 3 is the adherent points of natural numbers similarly all the numbers that are in natural numbers will become the adherent points of natural numbers only so this implies that the adherent point of natural numbers are natural numbers now we will find the adherent points for integers so for that by the definition we see that integers are the subset of real numbers now we will take any g that belongs to integers as well as real numbers so let us take 0 belongs to real numbers so by the definition the open interval for 0 will be 0 minus del 0 plus del now by the definition the intersection of 0 minus del 0 plus del and integers is equals to 0 if we draw this on a number line we see that it is like this so intersection z that means equals to 0 which implies non-empty so this imply that 0 is the adherent points for integers similarly we get that every number of integers will imply to be non-empty that means it will further imply that all the numbers of integers are the adherent points of integers so adherent points of z is equals to z now for real numbers we will choose any number between 
minus infinity to plus infinity so i'll take g is equals to 1 belongs to r and then the open interval will be 1 1 minus del 1 plus del and then we will take this intersection all the real numbers that will be equals to 1 only that means non-empty so this implies that 1 is the adherent point of real numbers similarly let us take g is equals to 2 belongs to real numbers it will implies that the open interval 2 minus del 2 plus del and the intersection with real numbers it will be equals to 2 again not equals to 5 that means 2 is also the adherent point of real numbers similarly we will see that all the points that lies in the real numbers will be the adherent point of real number only this implies that the adherent point of r is equals to r now for the rationals this is the important one let us take g is equals to 1 upon 2 belongs to q also belongs to r because q is a subset of real numbers so this implies that the open interval of 1 upon 2 that is 1 upon 2 minus del to 1 upon 2 plus del intersection q is equals to 1 upon 2 only that is not equals to 5 similarly if we take any number belongs to q also belongs to r it will imply that the intersection of the open interval of any number that belongs to q intersection with q will be equals to non empty always but it does not mean that the adherent point of q will be equals to q because if we see this on the number line from minus infinity to plus infinity we see that this means that there are infinitely many numbers between minus 1 and minus infinity similarly here also so if we see this on the real number line if we take any neighborhood if we take any open interval actually around any rational number we see all the numbers will belongs to q because we have already taking those numbers only that belongs to q so this implies that all the numbers that lies on this real number line will be belonging to q only we are not talking about irrationals but all the numbers that belongs to q this implies that the collection of its adherent points will become to be equal to real numbers not q because all the numbers that are taking as g is equals to means any number that belongs to q it will imply to be not uh, not empty that means all the numbers that are participating will be non-empty but not irrationals we are taking this is very important point to understand that we are taking all the rational numbers only and it will imply non-empty that means the collection is become becoming vast that means it is becoming to be equals to r and as we know that between any two real numbers there exist infinitely 
many rationals so this implies that the adherent point of rationals is equals to r